Hey guys, it's SF and Mika is up right now and going to do a farming party right now. I think Mika is relatively easy now, especially with all the power creep and Aladdin is a good reason why. It's just because his bump combo is really, really good for it and the low cooldowns make it really, really fast. So Shiondi, Aladdin and Asuka. In terms of Asuka, you can switch it off with like low AD and like other good water no warp monsters but uh, I just like Asuka better because low AD's meteor is relatively long and she does have lower stats than us well lower base stats than Asuka of course elemental advantage and all that stuff uh, goes into play but I really like higher HP monsters anyways but uh, double Aladdin is really good and it's all about hitting Aladdin and Asuka is there to sweep out the scorpions so if you have any monsters that can kill scorpions then you can replace it with Asuka but I prefer Asuka just because of the meteor and Shiwandi is there just in case you get into trouble in terms of positioning uh, you don't have to use it on the last floor but if you're all good in terms of positioning then you'll just save it for the last floor and then deal damage that way and basically just keep proccing Asuka when there's a scorpion and then proc Aladdin when there's no scorpions oh I wanted to hit Asuka there but that's fine Okay, there goes. Okay, almost a homing absorber. Now it doesn't have to be double Aladdin, but I like double Aladdin more than a lot of the usual no warp monsters. Oops, I missed my gauge. Then the other no warp monsters that you usually see in friend lists. Uh, the next one that I would like is probably. Uh, Saint Seiya, the Ascended version, just because his nuke is really good and you can basically clear off the last bar just with that strike shot. Uh, you see, Roy's is probably not the best because of all the laser barriers and even his beats is only good for the scorpion clearing. It's not really good for damage. Okay, next is Mini Mika. Or turtles. But I really like the line just because the bomb can proc from combos. It's like a mini blast bump, but that can actually do damage. Which I really like. And especially when you're farming in when there's monsters just in the corners that is really hard to reach. You can just proc the bomb and then uh, it will definitely lock onto them. So you don't have to waste turns trying to like get into the corner or something like that or uh, go to the corner and be out of position for the next bar and stuff like that and basically just hit Aladdin the first like uh, up until the boss stage is not that hard I think even for like uh, most people most of you can get to the last uh, get to the boss bars and then be okay it's just the problem of when you actually avoid the boss and dealing damage to the boss while avoiding his attacks or her attacks and one more turtle stage I really hate turtle stages because it really sucks up your time and I already have monsters that don't need stalling in general as you can see Asuka is the longest one and she's already almost up before the boss bar okay boss basically do the same thing as you do with any other monsters on this dungeon just get away from Mika but in case that you can't Aladdin 
okay in terms of HP so at least like minimum maximum two should get hit anything lower anything more than it'll be a little bit sketchy like three is okay but uh, I really don't recommend it like one's okay and then the bombs do good damage and Asuka is really good like Aladdin's good because it can hit everybody around hit all the minions and then Asuka is good for the scorpions so it clears off mobs uh, very very easily uh, second last bar uh, you use strike shots for Aladdin that's fine a uh, good thing about Aladdin especially for his uh, counter mode is that when you use his second gear uh, the counter mode will not go off until his second turn so he will have counter mode until it actually wears off so you can counter mode and then you can pop the first gear and then you'll have basically how many turns like three rounds worth of at counter mode that's a lot of damage but it should be okay Aladdin's bomb is really really good and that should clear it and first round is complete for the first Aladdin and counter mode is still up health wise is a little sketchy but I should be okay I just get away from it that's not actually getting away from it but like I said as long as maximum two guys it should be okay because Aladdin has enough damage in his kit that you don't have to you probably won't see the ball top blast move and Fine, and then Shi Huan D for the finish. And even if she missed like that, oh, and she doesn't. But even if she missed, uh, Aladdin will have his first gear of his counter roll back up, and you can use that to basically finish it off. But that's relatively easy speed wise, just because of the turtle stage is like a little bit over eight minutes, seven, eight minutes, so. Uh, that's what have you uh, but like I said in terms of replacements I really like Aladdin at least one Aladdin uh, you don't need to bring two although two is is a give or take depending on your preferences but uh, some monsters you can replace with Asuka you just have to bring monsters that can deal with the scorpions so bring like uh, uh, Izumo or like Low Lady or there's some other ones like Shou and uh, the new ones are like uh, Shoyu. Uh, Shoyu is a shotgun and he has a killer. He has a slayer for uh, Mika as well. There are a lot of replacements, but uh, I really like Asuka just because of her low cooldowns uh, meteor and actually deals damage. But uh, that's pretty much it for me. I hope you guys like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.